offense, your offense going from the second quarter on? Just about how you got into that flow early and able to sustain it the entire game. Yeah. Um, I've been missing a lot of a lot of open threes. Uh, it's funny. I was telling my uncle. I was like, man, I can't. I can't keep missing these open shots. You know, I mean, I'm creating this space, and Joel's giving me shots, and guys are giving me open, and I just, I've been missing. You know, I've been I'm doing everything. I was trying to get downhill, pass, rebound, and do all those different things, but I've been missing a lot of open threes, and uh, tonight they fell. When you let that last one go, that cut you 50, um, just what was going through your mind? Can you just take us through that moment, just letting it go, the crowd reacting, your teammates reacting, just that whole sequence? Yeah, I think. Um, Joel, Joel needed me to get wanted me to get 50 more than I think I myself did. Um, he he was going to grab the ball and was like, "You are going to shoot this basketball." So, you know, I just appreciate my teammates, man. Appreciate my teammates. Appreciate the fans. Appreciate the coaching staff. Uh, it was a great night. We got the win, so that's that's what matters the most. Can you describe what this day has been like for you? Obviously, after getting the news last night with Kelly, and what right. this whole day is. Been like. Yeah, it's, it's hard, man. It's really hard, honestly. Uh, when I got the news, you know. Like, Honestly, I thought it wasn't real. I, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't think it was real. But uh, you know, I, I shot him a text as soon as, you know, as soon as possible, as soon as I could. You know, it hurts, man. That's sad, man. It's a sad deal. But we're really happy that you know that's that was the latter part. I mean, that was a, you know, I mean, that was a minor injury. You know, that's what because what could have happened. So, man, we just want to show our love to him. Tell him we love him. Uh, shout out to Ko. He's a fighter, so we know he'll be okay, and uh, we can't wait to see him. Tyree, obviously, 50 points is going to be the big one, but yeah, three blocks. So I guess that's where we kind of continue to make strides on that end, just with the timing and everything. Yeah, uh, I used to kind of block shots a lot in high school, and I kind of went away from it. Uh, some stuff happened because of me blocking shots, but um, you know, I just try to go out there and play extremely hard. Honestly, you know, what I mean, it's like uh, it's some plays where it doesn't look like I try to make winning plays. You know, what I mean, that's that was a tough a tough play that I had to make the last one. Um, had to, we think we turned it over, ran and got back, and just tried to make a play on the ball. So that was great. Hunter was saying this yesterday that he calls you fourth quarter Maxi. What do you make of that nickname and just the notion of like being the guy who needs to step up in the fourth? Uh, yeah, Rocco is great. He's been great, honestly. Um, he's brought a lot of energy. Brings energy, he brings toughness, and he just brings a great camaraderie as a teammate. You know, he's a good teammate to have. I'm glad he's on our side, and not on a different team. But uh, he's been great. Just go out there in the fourth quarter, try to be aggressive. You know, that's the time where Joel gets his rest, and we need him to get as much rest as possible because we're going to need him down the stretch. So, I know me and that group we've worked a lot. Um, you know, when nobody's watching and five on zero and whatever the defense is going to do, or they're switching, trapping, dropping. So we know what we can get to. We know how to score the ball, and we know how to defend in that group. Jemai said that he was passing up some shots in the fourth quarter to try to get you 50. Because you've been in a position with Joel trying to get 50 and helping him along the way to something like that, what did it feel like to have it be flipped and have them working for you? Yeah, you know, uh, it was great, man. It is, those guys are amazing. Uh, Tobias was yelling at me on the free throw line because I wasn't running towards him to get the ball. Uh, and I'm like, yo, this just finishes the game, man. These guys are running at 1,000 miles an hour. And that's the fastest game that we ever played. But, um, you know, it's great, man. You just got to appreciate them, man. Tobias, Joe, all of them, Pat. Uh, those are brothers, man. You know, and you got to love them for that. And I appreciate it. You just kind of mentioned it, but I guess, like, how do you kind of handle the pace when, when you play this team? You got to play them on Tuesday, so. Yeah, you, I mean, it's a track meet. You know, you got to tie your shoes up twice and, and, and get going, especially when uh, when they're coming at you. They, they're they moving, like I said, a thousand miles an hour, and it works for them. Uh, they know how they're going to play. They know how they want to play, and uh, it's, it's it's been working for them, you know, the entire season and some of last season, too. So we got to do a better job next game of trying to control the pace of the game, man. They still scored 126 points, so it's a lot of points um, to give up. But, you know, we're happy with the win, but we're going to go back to the drawing board and try to figure that one out. You mentioned Joe maybe wanting you to get 15 more than yourself, and obviously we witnessed you guys in the locker room just now him calling you the franchise, all, all that stuff. Just how has he, you've talked so much about how much of the, he's encouraged you throughout your career, but how has that continued to happen this year given all the responsibility on you just in, in the early season? Yeah, um, every day. He's on me every single day. It's like uh, that, literally like big brother, little brother. 
Like, you know, when he when I come over sometimes, he passes me the ball and I don't shoot and I drive and do anything else. Um, I know that I'm going to get an earful from Joel and B. So, uh, you just got to appreciate that, honestly. You know, that's the MVP of the league, you know what I mean? And um, for him to have trust in us as a team, him to have trust in myself, I just appreciate it. And I just go out there and try to be my best for him. I mean, a, lot of, a lot of people have mentioned in the, early in this season about the, the two shots that Mike Muscala hit in the bubble for the Thunder to win, for the pick that became you to convey. Is that something that you've ever kind of thought about as you've developed in this in, with this franchise? I hear it so often. Bub reminds me. Uh, security reminds me at least, I don't know, twice a month. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've seen it. You know, that's, it's great. I mean, that's cool. I, I mean... That's just ironic, I guess, you know. Shout out to Mike. I like being here. So. It feels like every time you release it, there's something different about it, whether it's the foot you shoot it off or the angle or the distance. How important is it for you to kind of mix it up on those shots to keep the defense guessing? Yeah, uh, it's important because I can get all the way to the rim and shoot like layups. But uh, having being able to have a mid-range game is going to be important, you know. And come playoff time, great team and great defensive teams, they try to take away your layups, they try to take away your threes. So being able to score in the mid-range, whether it's a pull-up jump shot, whether it's a floater, whether it's uh, giving the ball to the best probably mid-range shooter in the NBA, Joel, um, those things, those things are good for us. And um, you know, that's been great so far. I'm just trying to be aggressive, whether that's scoring, passing, getting my teammates involved, whatever. As long as it um, contributes to winning, then I'm happy. All right, setting aside getting the ear full from Joel and you know, Coach Nurse's messaging on getting up a lot of shots, where do you feel like you're at in terms of managing those different responsibilities of playmaking for everybody and finding your own offense? Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just trying to be aggressive. I'm trying to be aggressive and do it the right way. Um, you know, with... Uh, it comes with great responsibility, having that freedom, uh, being able to shoot you know, and being able to kind of get up shots when you want to. Uh, I still try to get guys open, still try to get guys great shots. Tobias Melt, shout out to them, they were great tonight as well. Um, and, and that's what I've been trying to do. And, and that balance is hard, but you know, it's part of it. It's part of it. I appreciate my teammates and the organization, the coaching staff for being patient with me. So I just go out there and try to, my best to help us win games. Terrence, you talked about it periodically over the last few years, but when you were a rookie, it was can he shoot? When it, you were a second year, it was can he be a primary ball handler? Can he be a primary scorer? All these things, right? Can you put a performance like tonight in context of the doubts that have been thrown at you kind of needlessly throughout your career so far? Uh, I appreciate them. You know, I appreciate it. I mean, I think I was always a decent shooter in high school and stuff. You know, I missed some shots at, at, at UK. Cal's going to call me about that. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't bother me. You know, it doesn't bother me. It helps me, though. It helps me, though. Having those people um, doubt me or whatever, um, you know, it just it keeps my keeps me humble, keeps me able to go into the gym every single offseason, every single day, and work on my game, work on my craft, and try to be the best possible version of myself. Thanks, to it, you know, my former team, I, I wasn't doing that at all. I used to, no, like the first part of my career, the first 10 years of my career was like a ball and a point forward guy. So just, just practice, gotta get back to it. But you know, they got that trust in me. You know, when you got the coaching staff and the players, even Joe, like told me like take the ball and you and me play two man game. So when the MVP say that to you. When your teammate trust in you, I mean, yeah, I gotta get back to it and make sure I can bring that to that team as well. And see, that's what I was gonna ask you, like, you know, how has this experience been for you? Has it been, you know, when you get traded, sometimes you don't know, like you're yeah. used to what you're used to, and then you you come here and did you think it's way better than what you expected? Is it really exciting for you playing with this group? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I gotta be honest, and I'm always honest with the media sometimes cost me <laughs> but no you know when I when I got traded I mean I had no idea what to expect to be honest you know I, I got caught off guard I mean I didn't expect to be traded I mean I was pretty sure I'm gonna end up my career over there with a certain type of role a glue guy like you know play around guy that was my that was my role I was cool with it though yeah. and I coming over I still being that guy but a little bit more like I played 33 minutes tonight with the number one team in the east I mean I didn't expect that last week to be honest yeah, that's cool though. That's good. Now, you know, I'm a basketball player first. I'm a basketball player. Now we're winning games. Great coaching staff. Great energy. You know, it's fun though. At the end, that's what you want when you play ball. You want to win games. Have fun with your guy. And uh, and it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty cool so far. You gotta be honest. Pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you.